Mr. Chin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Big spandle. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for coming along to Rimmers at Bond. No uh, problem at all. Showing me the fantastic BBP 809. What, what's so special about it? Well, geez, where do we start? Um, BBP. Well, first of all, what is CBP? Um, Clavinova is a, a, an incredible sub brand of Yamaha, of course. Clavinova, do you know what Clavinova actually means? No, I don't. Okay. Clavinova means new keys. Oh, and it's been around for 40 years next year. It's its birthday next year, so 40 years ago. Well, I remember the first one. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it really is an incredible brand. And, of course, under the, the, the badge clubbing over, we have different types of clubbing over. We have CLP, yeah. CLP, SP. But we're here today to talk about CVP. Yeah. And what does that mean? Clubbing over versatile piano. So it really is uh, an exceptional instrument. But well, let's let's take a look a little bit closer at what CVP is. So you ask what's new. Yeah. Of course we've had a, a lineup of, of CVPs for many years. So what is new about the 800 series? Yeah. Well, as you know, I have a 700. Series. Yes. Yes. So yeah. It's so you're primed for an 800. I am. <laughs> well, we'll sort that out at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what's what's new? Well, first of all, I'll tell you what. Let's let's head over to the 809 which yeah. is, is over here so this is the brand new 809 uh, series instrument and i think we've got the lid closed for a, for, for a, a reason yeah it just looks stunning when it's cool. sight in your yeah. hand it's a beautiful high gloss black polyester it does come in other colours, um, it comes in uh, high gloss white, and it also comes in a, in a matte black finish as well. But I don't know whether the, gu the guys can uh, actually focus in on, on the instrument. We've got these brand new chrome fittings uh, on the top, on the music pins. We've even got beautiful chrome pedals. And I mean, it looks so modern. It so really does. Well. And even, even at the bottom of the legs now, we've got little chrome feet. Now that all adds to just a, a beautiful instrument, it's going to look wonderful, um, you know, in your home. Um, of course, before we, we, we dig any deeper, the sound quality of the instrument is all new. We have all new sounds, including, of course, the effects from Holland Over. We'll talk about that a little bit more in, in a little while. Of course, styles. We'll, we'll go right into the style section because, of course, many of our viewers might not know what styles are. Let's explain. Yeah. Um, Reload drums, it's all new. Um, it's it's just all there. Let's take a little bit more of a closer look, shall we? Let's open it up. And what you'll find is something that I think very, very different, but very familiar. Well, it looks very modern, very sleek. Yeah. But somehow, yeah, it, it's familiar to what I'm used to yes, already. Yes, well... Really. Let's face it, guys. If it's, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Absolutely. Um, we've we've got this beautiful brushed aluminium fascia, uh, which really does set the instrument apart. I, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I know <laughs> it's, it really is gorgeous. <laughs> Even little touches like this for for customers that already have CVP, um, like yourself, the buttons have even changed. So when you select a button, the colour changes. Oh, that's that's good. That's uh, a good feature. So you, a doubt. you can see which button you've pressed. We've yeah. listened to our customers. Um, mm. It really is a, 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 a beautiful instrument, just from the, the kind of aesthetics side of things, before we even get into you know, what it does. Now, I know that you, we were talking earlier, and you were talking about um, playing organ. Yeah. Yeah, and we've 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 kind I of come from an organ background. Yes, of course. Uh, and really converted onto piano, but I still love organ and yeah, all all the way we used to play as well. Of course, and 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 you know what? I think I, I too come from an organ background, um, where you, you know you, you had the the lower manual, the upper manual, and of course yeah. the bass pedals. Yeah. Um, and as as the way that people have played has changed over the years. CVP really is uh, an instrument for everyone. So coming to it from an, an organ, it, you can play it like an organ. Coming to it from maybe a keyboard, 
you can play it like you play a keyboard. Coming to it from a piano, you know, whatever level of piano you play, whether you're a beginner, whether you're a concert pianist, CVP fits the bill. So really, if, if you were to ask, you know, who is it for? It's for everyone. Everyone, it certainly sounds like every, it, yeah. everyone, yeah. everyone can yeah. play it, which is, is absolutely brilliant. Um, so we've talked about the appearance, we've talked about, you know, the, the different cabinets. Well, actually, it also comes in this, in a grand style yeah. cabinet. And seeing as we have it here, yeah, that's, I mean, that that's the one I think we should play. Yeah, it looks amazing. It's exactly the same instrument, however, it's obviously in a, in a slightly different cabinet, it's in a grand style cabinet. Which is, I mean, just what a thing. It's just beautiful. So let's let's take a look at actually what the instrument does. Yeah, let's let's have a listen to it. I want to hear these sounds. Well sound is, is of course, absolutely that's the important. Yeah. Let's have a look at uh, what it does. So first and foremost, Terry, it's a piano. We've talked about all of the other things that it can be, and we'll show you that in just a little while. But first and foremost, I want to just sit and, and have a look at its, its primary function, which is a piano. We've got a full 88-note keyboard that's called Grammy's Touch, so that it's weighted in just the perfect manner. Again, we could spend hours talking about that. Um, but again, come into the store and, 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 and ask your uh, store professionals how it works. It's, it's gr linear graded, so it's heavy at the bottom, it gets lighter as you progress across just as it would on a ground, yeah. even has chemical weights in it, so that it's perfect and balanced. What does it sound like? Well, first of all, first and foremost, I want to talk about a grand piano. A grand piano is, you know, I, I think the king of all instruments. And of course, Yamaha manufacture the king of all instruments, which is called CFX. And it really is a thing. It even just to stand next to the thing, it kind of makes all the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. It's stunning. It's nine foot long, huge. Um, and to play it is an absolute privilege. No, we've got it here. Yeah, in here. <laughs> we've recorded it again for the sake of the, the, the live performance. It, it, I, I can't tell you everything. But we've recorded every nuance, all of the reverberation and all of the texture of the cap all of the stuff that goes on in the cabinet of the instruments all of the, the sympathetic resonances it's all there and it's what brings the instrument to life just have a listen to this this is cfx <laughs> than anything we've previously had. And I think the smile on your face just <laughs> says it all. Um, 700 series was great. This is brilliant. Yeah. Um, and in fact, you'd be really challenged as to actually depict the difference between this sound and the sound of the original acoustic instrument. Yeah. So, I'm actually going to show you now um, some more pianos, but I'm going to use a feature of the instrument, which is called Piano Room. There's just one button, yep. and basically what it means is we've gone into a piano. Imagine walking into a piano room with all of your favourite pianos. <laughs> and I mean, that one piano, cost-wise, about £150,000. So... What happens if I want to play another piano, a different type of piano? Well, we very, very simply just touch the piano and up in the screen pops up a small menu that we can see. We can choose CFX. We can choose Bosendorfer. Bosendorfer, I'm sure many of the viewers will understand and know what a Bosendorfer is. It's one of the most iconic 
beautiful grand pianos in history. Yeah. Um, it, it has a wealth of, of incredible players that choose to play Bosendorfer. It's owned by Yamaha. Um, the Bosendorfer Imperial, which is the instrument that we have in here, actually has more keys on it than a standard piano. It has 97 keys as opposed to 88. But again, the guys in Stone explain more about the, the whys and the wherefores of that. In, in a nutshell, it's there to give you even more resonance. So that when I play Bosendorfer, you'll hear those resonances of the cabinet. It's just a stunning sound. This is, is Bosendorfer. <laughs> Even CFX on its lid has got a matte finished design so that when it's in a concert orchestra, the lights of the auditorium doesn't blind the other players, the violinists and all the rest of it. So everything's been thought about. A Bosendorfer was really chosen to play in a more, much more intimate surrounding, so it was a much more intimate sound. Yeah. Horses for courses, everybody likes different types of music. Now you can choose a yeah, piano. I, I think there's different tunes you'd want to play on of one of them and, and yeah, choose a different one for the other tune. Studio Grand, the most recorded piano in the world. It's a seven foot Yamaha Grand and it's that designed so that it really does cut through the mix. You know, when you've got drums and guitars and all the rest of it, we've got. <laughs> piano from a host of instruments. We've even got an upright piano. Very different. Concert grand. Concert upright. Different. We've even got a little bit of honky tonk if you want. Very different, but the sound quality is amazing Absolutely. on all of them. Let's just slip very gently into another area. We've talked about the pianos. Let's slip very gently into another area, starting to head off into the other voices. And of course, in the piano room, we also have a very, very famous voice. Uh, and that is of uh, a Yamaha DX7. Way back in 1983, Yamaha were very, very famous for launching this, probably the most iconic synthesizer ever um, and the DX7 was really synonymous with um, I think most 1980s pop records uh, as soon as I play it it'll take you back yeah <laughs> So that's um, a, a, a very small tour of the piano room. Now, piano room could also do some other fantastic stuff. Um, before we just get into some of the other voices, let's have a look at what else piano room can do. If I go back just to concert grand, just to the concert grand, <laughs> um, I can see um, that first of all, you know, I can choose the pianos, but also just to the top right of the screen, I see a little picture of a drum and a guitar. Very simply, if I just touch that, it now puts a band on stage with me. 
You know, playing the piano at home on your own, well, sometimes it can be quite a lonely place. Um, and it would be great to have the band in the room with you. Yeah. So I can now very easily select what type of band I want in the room with me. So if I was to select, um, well, it says Cool Jazz Club. Press the start button. I've got a drummer. Not just any drummer. Drummer using Revo drums. We'll talk about Revo drums in a minute. It's real. Now there's, there's nothing else happening. That's because I'm not playing. The band, they're actually going to follow me. Here I go. Now we have lots of different um, uh, bands that are living in the piano room. So if you just want to have a noodle around on the piano, the bands are there to, to follow you around. Let's take a, a more in-depth look at something that we call styles. Now, of course, the styles, I, I much prefer to call them backing bands. Yeah. Um, because that's, that's, I think, a term that, that a lot of people will understand. A backing band. Um, and on CVP, we have 675 of them. Um, again, just to give you a, 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 a kind of an understanding of what they are, imagine that you have a stage. And backstage, you have all of the bands that can come on the stage and perform. Well, we have 675 of them all backstage. So you just go and select one of them, put them on a stage, and it puts you in the band. I like to think of CVP as I'm the I'm the conductor. Every every band has a conductor, yeah, um, or a band leader. Um, you know, someone in charge, someone telling the band what to do. You know, conductor's going to say to you louder and quieter and faster and slower. Um, so I'm the conductor of the band. This is the band, and I have to tell CVP what to do. The one thing it isn't is telepathic. I think we're working on that. It's not telepathic. Not far off. Not far off. <laughs> I've got to tell it what I want it to do. So this user interface, uh, or the, the buttons for one of a better term, and this huge nine-inch colour HD touch screen is the way that I interact with my band. Yeah, I mean, the screen is amazing. It's beautiful. It's good to say It's that. absolutely beautiful. Very well laid out. So you've got your voices here in the middle with left sounds, main sounds, layered sounds, so we can layer voices together, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, style section, which is what we're, we're going into now. So if actually I select style, I can then see in the screen, I've got hundreds and hundreds, in fact, 675 different styles all laid out very simply in different categories. So if I want country, I can go to country, and I've got different types of country, modern country, traditional country, country ballad, blues, gospel, and you see all of the styles underneath, all the bands changing. So that's the way that I interact, that's the way that I ask CVP, or tell CVP what type of music that I want to play. So, Selecting the style is one thing, and that's that's relatively an easy type of thing. You know, I want to I want to play a particular type of music. Um, but we've also got to understand that once the music is playing, we want to control the band. So I've got to be the conductor, and the way that we control the band is quite simply this series of buttons across here that says style control. Now we've had this type of feature for a while and this is why yeah. it looks familiar yeah, to you. Absolutely, yeah. if it's not broken don't fix it we've got introductions we've got variations we could say you know course uh, verse chorus second verse second chorus uh, with a break and we've got endings but these buttons are also very versatile and again to learn more about the magic of the style control buttons come on into the store 
and the guys will really teach you some mm. stuff that you can do with this. But just for the sake of what we want to show you here, um, it's an orchestra, it's a band. Let's whisk you off to uh, a fantasy world um, and, and, and let you have a listen to some, um, what we call animation fantasy. I mean, it's just stunning. I'm not going to play an awful lot. I want you to listen to what the instrument's doing for me. I've selected an introduction. I've pressed variation A, so I'm starting at the beginning. Um, just have a listen to what we get. <laughs> Incredible. Well, of course, on board the instrument, the amplification system is just terrific. We have, first of all, twisted flare bass form. What does that mean? Twisted flare form. What's that? In fairness, you don't need to know any of this. It's, it just makes the instrument sound incredible. Well, what they are inside the instrument, if you were to look um, at the bass sound, it was found by Yamaha that if just a normal bass port was kind of pumping out the air, pumping out the bass sound, if, when they put it into a, 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 a wind tunnel and they put some smoke in there so they could see which way the, you know, the, the, how the air was moving, that the air was coming out quite sporadically. And you can check this actually, you can, you can do a little experiment. You can, and, and, and please, please don't hold us responsible, <laughs> but if you fill a, a, a bottle of water, and you take the top off and you just turn it around and you let the water come out. It'll kind of come out really sporadically. It'll oh, kind of no. gush, gush. It, 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 there's nothing kind of nice about it. It just, it, it just creates a mess. Yeah. Um, and that's because the, the water's trying to get out and the air's trying to get in. It's all, it's all a bit of sporadic. If, however, before you turn it upside down, you spin the bottle and you make the water spin, then you turn it upside down, the water will come out in more of a vortex if you like, um, because the, the air can get in, the water can get out, and it's a much more streamlined, unified kind of method, if you like. If you then put that across, or transcribe that across to sound, which of course Yamaha have, just by twisting the flare on the, on the bass port, you now can see, and there's a video on this online, if you can find it, the, the, the air comes out in a much more unified way. And the result of that is just a much more smooth, controlled sound. And that's all on board at 80 yeah, I mean, the sound is amazing. 
But there's another point. And this, this point is, is absolutely fantastic. When we make our acoustic, our beautiful acoustic piano, the soundboard of the piano, which is the heart of the instrument, that's been put together using the very highest quality wood, spruce wood. And of course, when it's put together, there's offcuts, there's pieces of wood that's cut off. That doesn't go to waste. That wood is then taken and redesigned and remodeled into the speakers inside 809. So you can see that actually that the sound of the instrument is coming through the speaker of of a concert grant. It's using the same wood as the speaker, which it really does make it. It does, but it does make a difference. It really does make a difference. It really does. Yeah. Um, let's get back to the styles. Yeah. Um, you mentioned organ. Yeah. You could say organ. So I came from an organ background. Yeah. 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 Now, when when you think about what an organ is, um, it, it it's left hand on a lower manual. Yeah. And it's right hand, hand on an upper manual. That's it. And you've got some bass pedal that you pick with your feet. When we think about that, I, I get it. I totally get it because I play organ as well. But when you're in a band, you don't play the bass pedal because guess what? You're the bass player. Yeah. Absolutely. And from an organ to CVP, all I'm doing is. I've actually got a split point. I don't know whether the camera can see that there. I've got, I've got a split point here. There's a light showing me. So this here is my lower manual. This is where I'm going to play my chords. Yeah. And anything above that is the melody line. In other words, the upper manual. So literally all I've done is gone from this position to this position. It's just the same. And in fact, who said you can't play brilliant organ music on a CVP? from a beautiful piano, we've gone to an organ. Let's have a look at uh, another style. Um, I want to show you just a couple of, uh, of, of kind of different styles, if you like. What about Latin styles? What about oh, um, yeah, right. beautiful guitar sounds? Um, On board CVP, we, we have something called super articulation, which again, for the one, you know, the time constraints that we have, in a nutshell, Super articulation voices are what means that you're not just hearing the sound. Let's take a guitar. You're not just hearing the sound of the guitar note. You're hearing everything else as well. So you're hearing the, for want of a better term, the twang of the string. You're hearing the squeak of the fretboard. You're hearing everything that goes into making that note. For instance, a saxophone. You're hearing the breath from the sax. The clarinet, you're hearing... So as if the instrument and the player is with you, basically. It's, uh, it's so accurate. 
Mm. And you don't even have to think about it because it's all written into the instrument. As you play it, all of these things will happen. It just makes it so natural. Let's have a listen. This is um, a beautiful style, um, beautiful backing band, a uh, Latin American backing band. Um, we're going to turn the style of a rumba, and this is, um, we start off with a beautiful concert guitar. Now, as we move through this particular um, example, I'm going to show you um, another feature on board, and this is called One Touch Setting. Now, again, I think another feature that's really underutilized. Um, However, on 800 series, it's so much better than we've ever had. It's brilliant. In fact, to be very honest with you, it's very rare that I deviate from one touch setting. Right. I, I use one touch setting because it's giving me the 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 correct um, sounds or voices to go along with that particular style of music. So let's press uh, one touch setting number one. Um, now I've got a link button here that says OTS link, one touch setting link. And what it's very cleverly doing, it's linking the one touch settings to the variations of the style. Because we know that we've got different variations on the style. So verse, chorus, second verse, second chorus. So the band builds. So instead of having to press two buttons, I only have to press one. Because as I press the button B, I'll see number two happen. Press I mean, button that makes it so much easier. Yeah. So simple. So let's start off on A, I'll have an introduction, and off we go. Let's have the intro again. So we've listened to lots of styles, um, we've looked at lots of different sounds. Now, of course, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of over, well over 13, uh, sorry, well over 1600 uh, sounds, voices on board. Um, so, you know, I, I can only give you a, a, a small <laughs> example of what's here. But I just want to head into um, another area, which is uh, the, the, when you look in the screen, I can see the main voice. And I can see layer. Now this is really interesting because we can now start to layer voices. So I can take, for instance, my concert ground. And I can layer a voice on top. Now there's a very famous Canadian composer who does this. Um, and the, the, the sound will be very reminiscent, you'll, you, I think you'll, you'll pick it up. And what he does, he takes the CFX concert run, and he takes that DX7, and he layers the DX7 with the concert run, which is just incredible. And it sounds like this.
let's say I now want to add a band into that. Previously, we, we were playing with a split, so I was playing like an organ or like a keyboard. But I don't want to do that now. I want to play it like a piano. And actually, we have some very, very famous people, obviously I can't name them, that use CDP to actually write scores, musicals, so on and so forth. Because, of course, on board we have, we also have a 16-track full recording suite so that they can play a, a piano and layer on top, I don't know, a harpsichord. What does that sound like with a harpsichord? What would that sound like with a string orchestra? What would that, what would that sound like? What if we do it with it? Yeah. Rather than having to hire a string orchestra, which is, of course, it's hugely expensive. We can do that with CDP. Um, so let's get back to the, uh, my, 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 my concert ground on my DX. I want a band. So I've literally selected, this is boy band ballad. Um, I'm playing the piano and I want to bring the band in. Just to give you, just to get our, our viewers into the mood of what CVP can do. As we said, it, it's for everyone. It, it really I, is I was going to ask that. You, you, you've said it's for beginners. It, yeah. it's, it'll teach you to professional composers. From, from the very, very start, we have a guide launch system. And <clears> in conjunction with the music that's already on board, it will teach you to play. Yeah. Left hand, it'll put the teacher on board. You can play the right hand, the teacher will play the left hand, so on and so forth. It's brilliant. Yeah. All the way through to, you know, someone who can really knock out some tunes. I'm, just as an example, I'm, I'm going to play, um, I like a bit of rock music. Yeah. Um, and if I was just to play, for, to play an alternating bass line on my left hand, which sounds really posh, all I'm doing is doing that. <laughs> So it's not just an organ, it's not just a keyboard. I can be a, a fully fledged piano player. Yeah, and whatever type of music. I've just selected some rock music. This is 80s classic rock. That could be classical music, it could be you know, uh, anything. Yeah, it really could be. If I press start, I'm going to hear the drummer. Drum fills with Revo drums. Now, this is interesting. Revo drums. Revo drums are a brand new technology at Yamaha which means we've recorded the, not just the drum kit, but we've recorded every drum up to 28 times. If right. you imagine when a drummer's sitting playing, he's hitting, for instance, the snare drum, a slightly different velocity every time he hits it, in a slightly different place, at a slightly different velocity, it's gonna sound slightly different. That's what we have on board. That's why it sounds real. It's it just it incredible. Real, yeah. because I haven't told them what to play. So if I just start playing my little bass line,
So we've heard the sounds. I hope they give you a, a wide variety of different sounds that's uh, that's gonna um, oh, yeah. paint a picture of what CVT can do. Yeah. It, it's got a little brother though, hasn't it? Wow. It has, yes. Yeah, yes. CVT 805. Yeah. It does. It has a little brother. This well, is the what? This is the 805. Yeah. Um, I mean, it looks amazing again. It does look amazing. Um, it, it really is a, a, a great instrument. Um, but of course, as you would expect, as you move down uh, an instrument, yeah, you, you're going to lose. You're going to lose some bits and pieces. So what do you lose? Well, on eight or nine, we've got lots of other features that I've, I've really I haven't even had time to get into. But let's tell you. Chord looper, yeah, fantastic feature. Um, it will loop your chords again for beginners to experts. If you're a beginner, can't quite manage to get the chords together because you're too busy learning the right hand. It will loop the chords around and around and around, just like having a teacher in the room playing them for you while you master the right hand. Or yeah, just good. the other day, I was I was putting I was noodling together on on eight or nine. And the, this particular song I was playing, I, I couldn't actually manage to play the chords because I was wanting to do other stuff. Yeah. yeah because it inspires you to do some stuff. And I thought, why don't I just record the chords in chord loop? I'll have them play around. That leaves my left hand free to noodle. To yeah. <laughs> experiment. <laughs> yeah. So that's chord loop, and that is a fantastic feature. It really is great. Um, that's also on the 805. Right. Bluetooth audio. We, yeah, we have Bluetooth audio. Now, again, if you've got a smart device and you want to play your music through the incredible speakers, as we've talked about before, you've got probably the best speaker system that, that you're ever going to own on board the 802. So you can play your music through um, your, you know, your phone and your whatever device you, you have. Um, of course, talking about devices, we also have apps. Available for the instrument uh, works in conjunction with, with smart hearing. Um, again, it does so much, but just in, in brief, just to whet your appetite a little bit. Um, using smart hearing, you can import your very favourite track from a live artist, and the instrument and the app will analyse that track in a heartbeat, right. and it will give you. A suggestive chord progression <laughs> to play along <laughs> with that's that. fantastic. That's oh, great. That's absolutely fantastic. I mean, me yeah. and you both know from from years gone by. You know, when you could you get a few chords under your belt, yeah, and you yeah. Think, yeah. I'd love to play with my favorite band. Yeah. But of course, in the in those days, you couldn't because the <laughs> got a shower on top and a drum line in, so on and so forth. All available, yeah. all editable. If you have someone that says, you know what? I want to record my favourite piece, what I've just played, and I want to send it to Aunt Matilda, who lives in Australia. They can record that as a WAV file on board, take it straight to their computer, and email it to Aunt Matilda, mm -hmm. living in Australia. Instantly. It's another really good feature. It's the, 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 you know what, the list just goes on. It, it, it's fabulous. So we talked about the, some of the differences. Yeah. Um, okay, so 805, the cabinet, first of all, is very different. Uh, and if the camera guys can just have a look at the cabinet, uh, first of all, it, it's, it's different in its design. It's, dare I say, kind of a box design stand at the bottom, uh, which is still great, absolutely fine. Um, as opposed to the 809, which is a, a, a more of a, a grand style cabinet. You know, it, it actually, um, when it's in situ, because you can see right underneath it, it's a, it, it actually looks, dare I say, smaller in situ because you can see right underneath yeah. it. Yeah. Um, which is fantastic. And then I mean, I like them both. I think they're both yeah. really good. Again, horses for courses. Yeah. yeah. That looks great. Um, what do we lose? That's an important um, point, I think. Um, well, first of all, the screen is much smaller. Well, I say much smaller, it's two inches smaller. We've got a seven inch. I mean, it's still very clear. Yeah, it's very clear, yeah, very good. Just, yeah. Yeah. Works in the same way. 
Um, it's just that slight bit smaller. It's two inches smaller. We've got a nine inch full color HD touch screen on the yeah. eight or nine, and we've got a seven inch screen on the uh, eight or five. Um, in terms of features and voices, the eight or five, well, we lose about 300 sounds, 300 voices. <laughs> So you've still got 1,300. Oh, yeah. Plus, we've got right. over 1,300 right. voices. And they're, they're, they're fantastic. They yeah. are great. Um, However, we've got... Oh, well, yeah. We've got more on the 8 or 9. Yeah. Styles, which we've talked about quite a lot. 675 styles on the 8 or 9, and we've got 525 styles on the 8 or 5. So we lose about 150. Revo drums, no. We don't no. get... Still sounds amazing, but we don't get Revo drums. The counterweights on the, the, the keyboard. We've still got a fully graded action, which is superb. But we take away the counterweights. Right, so yeah. Just that slightly less balanced. But you know what? For someone who just wants to play the piano, absolutely fabulous. Well, I mean, for the money, I think it's a great it package. Is. Absolutely. It is a great package. And I think we, we've hit the nail right on the head with it. Um, we talked about spruce cone speakers. Yeah. Again, that's a luxury, and it's on board the eight hundred, uh, the eight or nine. Yeah. The twisted flare port. Again, that's a luxury feature. It's on board the eight or nine. It's not on the eight or five. But one thing I do want to point out, which for me is a really important feature, a lot of people overlook this, but I think it's important, especially for someone who's learning to play the piano. It's these pedals, and the pedals are well, specifically the right hand side pedal which um, is the damper pedal, the sustain pedal. Yeah. Um, on the 8 or 9, we have a function called GP response, grand piano response. Now again, in a nutshell, what this is doing is it's, it's behaving like a concert grand. So when you press that pedal, for anybody who doesn't know what dampers are, again, come in the store, yeah, guys, we'll show you on, on, on a grand piano what it does. But it's, it's muting the sound, it's stopping the strings vibrating, but it does it in such a way, in exactly the same way as an acoustic grand would do. In an instrument that doesn't have GP response, it kind of, it kind of works like a switch. It has a halfway point as well, but it's, think of a light switch on, halfway off. As I say, we have a halfway point, but it's, it's kind of on and off. Yeah. It's, it works, but it's not 100% accurate. Right, until you get to eight or nine, and that doesn't work like a switch, it works like a, a, a dimmer switch, if you like. Right, so you have full control of all of the colour and the dynamics and the resonances. It's just all there, it, it really is. Now, that for me is, is, is quite a, a feature, and it's a feature that you really don't know. It's, it yeah. looks the same, but it's on board the eight or nine. So, eight or five, great instrument. Um, they they both, in fact, all of the Fabinova series come with a full two-year warranty. However, we upgrade that here at Rimmel's Music to uh, a five-year warranty. Yeah. Um, so you get a five-year warranty with the instrument. Uh, of course, we have full backup team uh, at Yamaha HQ. Yeah. Um, but anybody who, who's bought an instrument, they can you know, call us or certainly call your team. Um, and obviously, also call Yamaha. And they can ask any questions that they want. You know, if they start there composing and they think, oh, how do I do that? No problem. Pick the phone up and we're, we're, we're there. I mean, our guys know all the answers to most of the questions, of course, as well. So. And it's, it is really good that your team of guys are really knowledgeable. They know all about the instruments. And it, it's really great that you create that relationship with, with the customer. I mean, we, we feel privileged to sell them these things. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's how we feel. We that's love it. it. Yeah. Well, there are only people who really know what they're talking about that, yeah. that, that can sell through these yeah. things. And of course, the relationship with them is just fantastic. So, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for coming along. And what a fantastic no demonstration for it. It's, it's an eye opener for me, uh, not being on the shop floor. It, it's just it's amazing. It's, you sold it to me, by the way. Well, I, I would you like to step in? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's brilliant. Thanks for watching anybody that's out there and uh, come in and see us here at Rivers Music or any of our locations. Um, we've got, we can demonstrate these instruments. And, and one thing you will not have got if you're watching us remotely, 
the sound is absolutely unbelievable. Um, you might be listening on a tablet or your phone or a computer. You have to come and listen to it in person. We want to show it to you. Because I tell you what, once you've seen it, you'll want one. Absolutely. <laughs> so, hope to see you soon. So from Gary and Paul here at Rivers Music and Barton, see you soon, hopefully. Paul, see you soon. Take care. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. Great. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.